A wet collodion photograph is alchemy and art combined in a handcrafted process. My name is David Galanders and I'm a documentary photographer. I suppose I really became interested in photography when I was about 13, 14 years old through a love of boxing. All of the gyms and clubs that I used to train in had black and white portraits, photographs of people who were my boxing icons at that time. I started to take pictures of boxing, I suppose when I get a bit fed up of being punched in the face. And then much later in life, um, I, I, a friend gave me a small black glass ambrotype. And it was this beautiful object that you could hold in your hands. It, w it was from the 1800s. It had a history, I felt connected to the history. And, and basically Googled black glass photograph and found this crazy process, the wet collodion process that um, has taken over my life ever since. You make a wet photographic emulsion onto glass, black metal, anything really, and you expose that to light. And before the, the wet photographic emulsion dries, you need to develop it, fix it and varnish it uh, to, to make it permanent. The clothing process does use um, chemicals which are considered dangerous. We use a potassium cyanide fixer so you, you've got, you've got to, to, to be respectful of the chemistry that you're using if you, if you want to, to use the chemistry that they used back in the 1800s. When you develop the plate and wash it, it then becomes um, safe to, to view it in, in normal light and you, you're left with a kind of latent blue negative that when you put into the potassium cyanide fixes and um, reveals the, the, the picture and that's that's a magical, really magical um, moment. But I also really like the, the final stage, the varnishing stage. It, it's I suppose the stage in the whole process where it can go most wrong. You can have a fantastic beautiful picture that you see disappear because the varnishing isn't right. And you, you heat the, the plate over a, a naked flame and you, you pour on a lavender oil varnish um, and, and heat that to set the varnish. It creates an amazing smell and, and when it all works well, um, you, you're left with a beautiful hand varnished, handmade photographic image that will last for over a hundred years. The point is that when you invest that time, when you invest that energy, when you commit yourself to something, that you're making and it works, it's beautiful.